Hi friends, it's Sunny. Welcome, welcome. So for those of you who are new to watching me on YouTube, um, I my name is Sunny. I am a professional ballroom dancer and I post weekly tutorials for my students on YouTube, although they are viewable by the public if you look on my channel. And recently I've started um, posting some general ballroom culture videos that are informative for maybe people who don't dance as much or don't dance at all or are just curious. Um, and I started that in relation to Bravo TV's show Dancing Queens. And I received some interesting questions based on those videos. So I'm delving into that stuff in more detail. Um, so in my last costume video, I ran out of time and I said I would share some of my own costumes with you so you could visualize what the heck I was talking about in that video. If you have not seen it yet, just go back um, to my last video um, and I describe some of this stuff in greater detail. Um, so I'm going to um, show you a couple Latin costumes today um, and hopefully you can see how these things work. So, um, as I mentioned, it was total bull pookie in Dancing Queens when they made fun of Sabrina's costume, saying it was too sexy. It was absolutely within the acceptable range of coverage. And that's a wide variety of different things for different people. Some people are much skimpier. Some people are more covered. There's not a right or wrong. There's lots of artistic freedom there. So I'm going to show you a couple of mine. Okay, um, these come in a wide variety of colors and styles. As you can see, these tend not to have a lot of fabric. So very short skirt. It's pretty much the Latin costumes are a little bit like a bikini with fabric sewn on them. And as you can see, as I mentioned, these are all made of Lycra. So this is not something I would purchase in a store anywhere. I don't care how nice that dress is and, and Neiman and Marcus, it's not going to work on the dance floor. These are custom made by um, designers who specialize in dance wear. Okay, so that's one example. Okay, and as you can see, you know, uh, Sabrina's uh, kind of sexy dress, they were shaming totally within normal range. Now, if you're a little bit shy about your figure, there are many acceptable styles. So, for example, in this one, you know, we do have kind of that um, maybe uh, skimpier top where it's pretty much like a bra. But the, um, the base of, oh, and if you see flesh tone on TV and Dancing Queens or Dancing with the Stars, there, it's actually a flesh toned fabric. Um, we, we don't actually have a boob hanging out or something crazy. Um, and then as you can see, this one has a pretty long skirt. So if you're self-conscious about your legs, you can absolutely cover that. Um, it wouldn't be really normal to go out there in a burka, but you absolutely can um, provide more coverage for areas of your figure that maybe you're a little self-conscious about. That's totally okay. I don't want you to be intimidated by those costumes you see on TV, okay? Um, and as you can see, they come in a wide variety of colors. So as you can see in the back, same thing. This is a flesh tone mesh. It stretches, so it might look like skin on TV, but it's not. It's actually fabric that's very stretchy. Just moves right with our skin, okay? Now, in my costume description video, my last one, um, I talked about um, the horse hair trim. So sometimes we have a trim with a little bit of wire in it, okay? That makes it a little poofy in the butt and gives you a little more uh, emphasis on your rotational figures with that fuller skirt. You can have a fitted skirt in Latin, you can have a fuller skirt, whatever you feel looks best on you. And if you're purchasing your first costume, definitely take the time to go to a competition, try on costumes and see which style um, best flatters your dancing and your figure. Now, in this case of, of this costume, you'll see you have the option of arm coverage. Okay. Now, again, it might look like bare arms on TV and it can be. It often is. In this case, this has one bare arm. But um, it doesn't have to be. If, if you're self-conscious about your arms, you absolutely have costume options that you'll feel confident in, okay? 
So something I didn't talk about in my last video, that's very common in Latin, not so much for the ballroom dances, is fringe. So we saw this on Leone's um, costume in the last episode, the season finale of Dancing Queens. So fringe looks like this. And when you spin, it kind of flares out. Um, this is not my particular, my favorite style of costume. This is reminiscent of Leone's to me. Um, but maybe you feel comfortable in this sort of coverage. To me, it's a little boxy, but um, the gowns with fringe do tend to, to look that way. They're a little more fitted compared to the ones with the, the fluffy, fluffy skirts. So uh, there we go for that. And usually you have a low back, though again, lots of flexibility. If you're a little self-conscious about your back, you can get a costume with mesh on the back. That's cool too. Okay. Or even mesh. I, I love the look of a lot of mesh coverage with tiny stones cover. Yet I think that looks amazing, but that's my personal preference. Everyone has their own thing. They, their, um, kind of favor. Um, the last thing, um, I mentioned on my, uh, last costume video um, was there can be uh, smaller glue on rhinestones that we glue on with E6000 glue or some people use gem tack. Um, there's also larger stones so they don't provide as, as much sparkle when you move but when the light hits it it's like kapow and those big giant stones you can't glue on they just plop off because they're so heavy but I'll show you a costume that kind of emphasizes some of those so you can see what that looks like, okay? So these stones here, I don't know if you can see that, that's a glue on rhinestone, okay? And um, this is a mixture of smaller stones and bigger stones, okay? And again, as you can see, Sabrina, Sabrina's costumes are totally not skimpy. That, totally acceptable um and also the fringe i don't know if you can see this but it can be um beaded for a little bit more of a dramatic flare when you spin okay so again sew on stones glue on stones these are size 20 ss you can go a little bigger with 30 ss they go down to eensy weensy which is size 4 ss i don't really recommend that size because they're so tiny they don't really sparkle from far away and you have to individually glue these on or pay someone to do it very expensive and so you know you might need ten thousand stones you know to cover a gown and those are individually glued on with the gem tack or the e6000 and a pair of tweezers i mean this would take a lot of time um, also many of these costumes, um, come with kind of, um, additional optional accessories if you want to look a little different for that comp. So for example, this would be a matching, um, wrist cuff. Okay. Optional. Um, also I recommend with any costume, um, to purchase matching earrings with it or hair pieces or both. Um, if, or if you want to save money, just get a big pair of Crystal AB earrings. So Crystal AB is this kind of iridescent white stone. Crystal AB. This goes with really any costume color. Um, and um, my favorite brand is Swarovski. Another popular brand of crystal is Precocia. Go to danceshopper.com and you can purchase these styles in, in really any color. Um, for Latin, more than the ballroom, um, we also see um, more like hoop earrings like this, okay? Or here's another one that matches a different costume. I personally am not really comfortable wearing the hoop earrings. I took a big elbow accidentally once on the comp floor and my ear ended up bleeding. Blood's running down my neck. I didn't want to quit dancing. So I did the round, made the cut, but it really stressed me out. So, and it didn't feel good either. So I really prefer clip-on over um, pierced earrings of, of any form, just from personal experience. You don't have to go that route, but it'd be a little suggestion. So, oh my gosh, I don't know where the time goes, guys. Uh, I'm pressing that 10 minute mark. So I'm gonna close it out here and I'll do a separate video on the ballroom styles because those are two unique, very different styles that you would see um, on a comp floor. There's the Latin and rhythm, which are pretty similar. And then the standard or ballroom or smooth 
um, styles where it's a very traditional, um, more conservative look. So thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed that. Feel free to ask more questions and hopefully that answers some of your questions about all those costumes you saw on Dancing Queens and Dancing with the Stars. So I'll see you soon. Thanks for joining me. If you liked, press the thumbs up press subscribe, comment with questions um, if you need any clarification or other aspects of ballroom dancing and competition that you might want an industry insider's perspective on. So have an awesome day. Bye guys.